Santos, aka Young Burger Patty, aka Nobody Wants Beef, Impossible Burger. Now listen, man, Nintendo, all right, <laughs> crazy, crazy bastards that Nintendo is, they dropped a surprise Nintendo Direct this morning out of nowhere, not announced. They just dropped the link and said, here you go. Shut the hell up asking us about this damn Direct every day. <laughs> And it was interesting, they showed a lot of stuff, nothing too crazy, there's an ARMS character coming to Smash and whatnot. But the last three and a half minutes of the Direct were dedicated to Pokemon Sword and Shield and the DLC that's coming in June. Now, it was weird because they pretty much regurgitated a lot of the information uh, that we already knew. Uh, you know, the Urshifu event, uh, you know, you pick a different path and depending on which path you pick is the one your, you know, your Urshifu will evolve into a dark type or water type, yada, yada, yada. They kind of just showed a little more gameplay going along with what they already told us before. But the part that they didn't tell us is that the G-Max starters are, uh, you know, they, they basically told us what their moves do and they told us what their moves are. And I don't know about you guys, but I find it incredibly boring that all three of these Pokemon have the same exact move, just a different typing. I think it's so incredibly lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I only think that because I was really looking forward to these three Pokemon having three unique moves with unique side effects. But Game Freak decided to give them all the same side effects. Why does a grass type move need Mold Breaker? What can I hit with that? A Sap Sipper Pokemon? Gudra? Gudra's not taking damage from a grass move. Now, it seems like the actual icing on the cake uh, or, or, you know, the actual purpose of these moves is that they do an incredible amount of damage. Um, so they specify that these moves are stronger than, Dynam than Dynamax moves or, or Gigantamax moves. They're stronger than the average G-Max and D-Max moves. But I still think it's absolutely incredible that they all do the same thing. I think that's so boring. I think that's so lame. I just don't like it at all. Because why? Why couldn't they come up with three different things for these moves to do? Why couldn't they innovate and not just give me some boring ass shit? <laughs> I, I just don't like it. I'm sure that the three starters will get their uh, their hidden abilities through this, through this method or through, through this event. I'm sure that we'll, we'll get our Sniper, Inteleon, and our Grassy Surge, um, Rillaboom, and our uh, uh, Libero Cinderace. So Cinderace might be a little better. It'll definitely be good in singles, uh, but we can't use Gigantamax in singles, at least not Smog on rules. I play by Smog on rules, I always have, um, but I've also been playing a lot more VGC because singles hasn't been too interesting for me. As far as VGC goes, where we can use Gigantamax, I'm sure Rillaboom will be used a lot just because of his ability. Um, and depending on how powerful these moves really are, it might not even be a problem that their that their abilities on their moves are, are not very quote unquote good. But I just don't like it. I, I'm not a fan of the fact that they made them all the same. I think that they could have done much better, but when can they not do much better? <laughs> it's game freaking 2020. It's just, I, I don't expect anything from these people and they still disappoint me. It's just incredible. I asked my chat when I, when I was streaming if there was a single person that could justify uh, this DLC, because the DLC itself doesn't look very engaging. It's Pokemon. You can't really interact with much ever there's really not much you can do to, you know, verge off the path that they make you that they make you take. Nobody's gameplay experience is really that unique, except for the Pokemon that they catch. It's all the same shit all the time. So I asked my chat if there was anybody in my chat uh, when I was streaming that could justify the DLC and what we've seen so far. If there was anybody that could poss possibly convince me that this is not trash. <laughs> because I would like to I would like to take this I would like to take something away from this something positive I want to take something positive away from what I saw today in the Nintendo Direct as far as Pokemon goes and not a single person in a chat full of 2,000 people <laughs> could could even attempt 
to say that it wasn't trash. So I'm asking you guys the same thing. Is there anybody here watching this video that can even attempt to tell me how this is not trash? Because I'm all ears. I want to, I want to walk away from this thinking something positive. I don't want to be negative. I want some insight. I just can't do it on my own. I need your help. Is there anybody in the comment section that can convince me that this DLC is not trash? Okay. <laughs> because as far as I'm seeing, there's a little area that we can explore. There's, uh, you know, uh, there's a bootleg open area, whatever it's called, this, whatever the hell, I forgot the name already. Um, and then there's the little event where you get your, your Pokemon and he evolves. And I don't know, I, as far as I can tell, there's not much, a lot of the content of this DLC is gonna come with the new Pokemon that, that get put in the game, but they can't fool me with that. So I would just let you guys try to convince me if you want. I really hope somebody does it. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something, <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Just wanted to make this little news video real quick. I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing, been enjoying it, it's been a stress reliever. It's been relieving me from the anger uh, of playing competitive Pokemon. So I'm uh, probably going to do that for a little longer. Uh, got some stuff I'm working on. Got some videos. Got some songs. Yes, sir. Uh, but we'll be back. We'll be back for sure. So uh, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Goodbye. <laughs>